Hey everyone, it's Sue here from Scrappy Do Sue. Oh, I've come on today to showcase and do a flip through of my junk mail journal. Um, you may or may not know that I made the cover out of Amazon packaging and all of the insides are made out of junk mail envelopes. And I did um, sew in the signature so that the strings were on the outside, but because this has turned into such a chunky monkey, I am going to shorten these strings and have these dangling down the spine. And then I'll, I'll find some nice seam binding or ganza or something ribbon to tie around this. So let's have a look. So now I followed the lovely Izzy, Izzy B Creations. Izzy B Creations, yes, that's... Um, channel and I have linked it below um, so I did mine in the flower fairy woodland theme and so the front cover we have beautiful rabbit um, these are Cockney crafter uh, pieces out of her fairy ephemera pack um, this I had gifted to me by the lovely um, D wool uh, D no D not D um is her name Denise oh Denise sorry um at junk junk box journals UK I think oh I can't remember now anyway I did showcase it on a video we put a label on here fairy magic little bow some lace and some bling uh, collaged in the, on the background on some paper and I used lots of scrap digitals that I had left over so I've put some lace down here okay so the inside cover is covered in um, cotton um, and oh, that needs a little bit of glue I won't do that now and I stenciled the Tim Holtz um, stencil on the back in the background and then I've put a pocket on here and I've collaged it up this is a piece of the Cockney Crafters um, ephemera pack so I've made that into a little corner tuck and put a couple of tags in here and I've decorated that layaway tag there so that's a little pocket at the back like so and then this page is all collaged up with little fairy on little tuck here with a couple of bits in there like so and i've had to keep some of these tags thinner than i normally would um so actually that i don't know why because i've made that into sort of a, a tuck really rather than a pocket okay so it's all collaged up with all sorts stamp labels a bit of decorating paper and then this page is a pocket envelope so I've made a tag to go in it. it says believe in magic they, on the back of all of these tags and journal cards i've just collaged them up so that they can be journaled on and that fits into the window there and you could just see the fairy house and then i have put a lace tab on it and a little um I can never remember the name of these, can I? <laughs> you know what they are. Isn't it awful? I, every time I have a mental breakdown, little envelope. These are made from Violet Duran, who has the eBay shop. Very pretty. And labels, again, all collaged around. And this one is plain envelope, uh, plain junk mail envelope. Um, so it didn't have a window. That one says blooms and there's a little fairy crouching there on top of a ticket. And then on the back, I put a corner pocket there with a little fox stamp, that one, and another tag in there. And then we've made a tag to go in it, which is beautiful um, fairy there swinging from, I think that's catkins, I'm not sure. And again, I've collaged the back and put a topper on the top with some nice, um, I think that's sari silk, this here. 
Then this one I've used some washi and I used some washi along the top which is what Izzy did and I've collaged this um, put a, a beauty definition on put some labels put a butterfly on the back of some cheesecloth again I've put some lace on this one and this is all collaged up and this little fairy sitting up here looking down at the squirrel and we've got a nice journal card here Again, it's all collaged up and this one's sitting on top of the mushroom and it actually says mushroom so that goes in there like so and that's got the lace tab then this one here another window envelope I've used that and made it into a pocket put a tag inside and butterfly collaged all around here and this one is up this way just for difference and put some little die cut flowers on it, a little word beauty, some lace and I decoupaged a napkin onto this tag which is plain on the back for journaling on little fairy here looking up at this lovely rabbit hair, I'm not sure, I think it might be a hair because I think hairs have longer ears and they're much bigger but um, the napkin really went down very well I'm very pleased with that and again, I've topped it with some sari silk, so that one fits in there. And all the envelopes have got um, some digital paper in the background, so I've covered those as well. This one, I've put a little fairy here, he's looking up here. These butterfly, homemade butterfly stamp, that is. I made that, which I've collaged on. Put some lace here and here, and made a tag. Well, it's a journal card really and that one is mushroom themed and I've stamped some fairies on it's got a dragonfly there and then on the back is for journaling and that also has the lace tab and this is all collaged up and there's a little baby fairy nestling down here and it says caring cradle the leaves of a forget-me-not keep fairy babies happy and then I've put some um, mushrooms in the foreground. This one I, on the back of, well, front or back, whichever you'd like, it, it's just color, it's just got some journaling paper and I've stamped some fairies on and put some lace. Then this is the window envelope on this side. Again, I've put some lace, collaged this all round and made a journal card with a tab made out of the crochet lace and I've collaged this up with some um, doily and here's this lovely fairy nestling in this undergrowth here so and again the background has all been covered with digitals and this one I've left quite plain I've just put some labels on because um, I love the imaging of this paper and then on this side um, we've got the center of the signature so we've made a lovely big tag for this one with some lace at the top piece of my master board there and a bit of doily number nine and that says blossom and that's a little fairy house topped again with some i think it's seam binding i'm not sure if it's sari or seam binding i never know the difference and on the back again i've collaged it so you can journal on it and I've strengthened the top of these envelopes. So that's the only thing I don't like about using envelopes is they're quite weak, I find. So again, I've put some lace up here and collaged this um, paper, which is in the background. So I've put a little uh, pocket here made out of a book plate, really, that is on some... Um, it's like tracing paper and this is a lovely little ticket came in um, the ephemera box from Karen at Junk Box Journals UK and um, that's an, uh, an admission to the strawberry garden well, that was quite apt and up the back you can see this is the beautiful fairy that Karen sent in her thank you happy mail she sent this and another one and I, I chose this one to put on here so she's behind there and that says encourage and then I made a corner pocket here with 
digital fairy picture and there's a lovely card in the back there with a beautiful deer on so this paper matches this and then he, he's a nice fairy there he's just standing there with some nice flowers put some lace some labels and on the back is the um window envelope which i've collaged around and put some labels on another fairy house and some more mushrooms and then we've got a bigger journal card with some crochet lace on some labels and beautiful image there and i'm stamped the tabs and these tabs are violets from so on the back i've i've used some collage paper and that bit has even got a printed paper clip on it i thought that was nice so i stamped fairies on that um, i thought that was nice and again it's got some washi on it um mainly just to strengthen down the center really so we've got a little pocket here we've got some lace we've got a lovely fairy here camouflaged um i think she's got wallflowers in her hand or sweet williams something like that and some daisies in the background which is a panel on the back of some other paper and a lovely journal card with beautiful fox panel on it and that says wayside and again i've uh, put some journaling paper on the back and this one is strengthened and topped with this lovely seam binding slash sari i'll never know the difference then we've got a i put yellow um on there because that is yellow themed put some nice um grid washi there and some labels and collaged her up um and then he's just standing there looking up into the sky that says beautiful and there's lots of mushrooms and labels and i've put some lace up there so this is a curved top of the envelope so this is the back of this big tag which is topped again with the same seam binding slash sorry and i've just layered it up with some stickers dragonfly ticket it says sweet there and then she's standing on that little label there that was quite nice and she goes back into there and again i've strengthened the top of those okay so it's getting chunky as you can see very chunky and i just deliberately made these to stick out the top and at the side to give it some interest put some bling on this one and just collaged some flowers on it and actually that's around the wrong way isn't it because this being a double pocket envelope i had to think of a design that would show through the two pockets so i think it turned out rather nice then this is the other side of the little envelope so this says blue because it's quite a lot of blue on it and i've put some die cut flowers on i love this paper and then in here we've got a little journal card again i've used a tab from violet stash um, and i've stamped a little seed head there put some journal paper on the back and that says wing and this is a fairy with beautiful wings a sitting i think on a branch or oh, no actually this is a butterfly she's a fairy she's having a ride on him but the butterfly's got beautiful wings i just need to stick that little corner down so i'll go back in i've been through this backwards and forwards today with a fine tooth comb and still when you do the flip through you see other things <laughs> so you can see there's some washi poking out there and some lace and there's this lovely thistle fairy here and i've just layered it up with some bits and pieces tickets and labels then i've got a homemade stamp that i made here and then we've got a baby fairy down here looking up and it says each flower fairy decorates their bedroom using their favorite colors so this is a pocket i made out of this piece and i've put some tiny little die cup um, butterflies on and um, put some bling on those and a couple of cards in here which can be journaled on and then in this one again it's topped 
with a tab from Violet. Um, I saw either Violet's or uh, Julia's at Camellia Craft Design, so I've bought from both of them. Um, this might be Julia's because it's a slightly different colour to Violet's. And this is a lovely journal card. It's a beautiful fairy image on. Again, this is from Denise. I came in some mail from her. And I've put fairy wing here and some washi down here. And um, I like the digital paper in the background. It's a scrap I had, but I like the way it's collaged up like that. And it, I used some blue avocado dyed. I think that's avocado. It might be blueberry or something like that dyed paper and then she goes in that way because on the back of here is another window envelope so she's peeking through so I made a belly band out of some lace I've layered it up collaged all round put a label and this is a little envelope another one of Violet's little envelopes that goes in there and a little Piece I had in my stash which opens out it's a little file folder and you can open it out and I haven't put anything in it I could make that into a little notebook so I may do that off camera just put in a few pages um, so I'll leave that out actually um, so that's that and then this envelope I've used some lovely scrap digital this is another copy crafter piece and I've cut that out, made a corner pocket, and put two little tags in there. And here's another journal card, which on the back is another window envelope. So again, I've collaged it for journaling on. And then this window envelope goes in here, sits on the side. And I've put a homemade triangular stamp on that I made, with layered up with some ticket butterfly it's one of Tim Holtz um, another piece uh, these are these pieces I've cut out I think they were from a Darmo Prince fairy ephemera pack if I remember rightly and it says dance and she's like dancing in the air there beautiful so that one goes into there like that and you can see the bird through there and I just collaged this up put another Tim Holtz um, flower piece there again it's topped with this lovely sari slash seam binding this one is collage with some mushrooms and a little circle which I think came from Denise and another card that came from Karen junk box journals That's some stickers there and that this one's topped with some lace so on the back I've collaged it with some die cuts which are violets violet duran from her ebay shop and a little little kind of this is um this plant is lilac I believe that's lilac little label there and then in here is this journal card which is the speedwell fairy so I've themed it in blue and I've collaged the background and it says the song of the speedwell fairy clear blue are the skies my petals are blue as beautiful too as blue as devise it's not the whole poem I just took a snippet from there and put that on there for butterfly so there's a lot of interest and I've collaged on the back for journaling strength in the top of the envelope and then we're on the back page again I use Tim Holtz um, stencil which I can't remember the name of now <laughs> put some lace here put a little corner pocket on this is from Adamo Prince but it was plain so I've stenciled some lines in the background well it's not a stencil it's a stamp it has just lines on it which is good for collaging put a card in and a little journal card here which is nice for journaling on so they go in there so you can see the stencil here and I've put one of my little pieces that I made it's um, little circles I don't know if you remember if you saw me make them and that says balance on it and um, I've layered it up with all sorts paper and 
little Tim Holtz piece and stenciled it and put some scraps. And on the front here, I've, I've put an arrangement of um, stickers um, coming down here and along here and a little bit of tape sticker and a ticket and some um, doily and then this piece here with some Karen at junk, junk, junk box journals so I like him sitting on a branch talking to a squirrel so that's the back page and then the back of the journal here is um, um, all collaged up with the Cockney Crafter pieces so this is lovely vine here with Ruth roses on and fox with a little garland of roses it says woodland friend and here we have a little flower fairy sitting with a baby sister on a branch and i've put some doily on the back and some labels and that's it really that's it finished so um i'm very pleased with the outcome it turned out a lot more chunky than I expected to be honest but I really thoroughly enjoyed making it and it's all made out of just trash really well the envelopes the packaging you know all the journal cards are made out of Amazon packaging um, every piece every one of these cards and tags are all journal or Amazon packaging that are actually in the envelopes so I hope you enjoyed that I hope you like it and I will alter this and put some lovely ribbon around it to close it. And um, I don't know what I shall do with this now. I may put this away and it could be another subscriber giveaway. We will see. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you again soon. So take care everyone. Bye bye.